Hey, my lovelies, I'm on this screen right now. Shorty's going to join me in just a minute. He is finishing up with a customer. Um, definitely not the way I saw this video starting, but hello, hello, hello. I will get over on my tablet in just a second because I'm going to be working on that screen right there on the top. What we have is a 1920s solid wood two drawer dresser and Shorty is putting um, the transfers on for the vintage floral transfer on one of the drawers. We've already done it on one drawer. I am going to be using the stencil, the uh, script, um, L'Amour Francis, um, and I'm going to be doing some glazing and then adding some of the floral transfers there as well. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to jump over to that script. That screen. Yeah, that screen. Even though in real life it's that way, on the screens it's that way. So, uh, you know, but he'll be here in just a second. So, um, since I had to jump on, let me refresh my tablet. But see, I'm here. Hello. Hello. And let me pull up my comments. I am so sorry for the wonky start. You guys know me. I'm better than this. But it has just been a day. Oh, my word, has it been? It's been a couple of days. But so let me see there. Hey, Donna Trebo's on with me. Carrie Elaine and Donna. Hey, you two. Thank you, guys. Um, so, yeah. So this, hi, I'm here. I promise you I'm here. It's not the voice. So over the stencil, we have painted this in um, Savannah Mist, and then I am going to be using the Copper Bronze Glaze. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Babu. And we're going to be using the Pearlescent Glaze. Again, Babu. And we are going to be also using some of the Gold Shimmer Glaze. Woohoo! Um, all over this. Now, for you guys that do not know, say the name of the script transfer again, please. Okay, the transfer that we're using is the vintage floral transfer. That's the transfer that we're using. The script is a, the French script is what we're using. Let me grab it. It's from our bells and whistles. Um, we put it this way and this is the stencil that we will be using tonight. The Mont Francis, the script, I will be using the large. There's also a small one that does not have the roses, but for y'all, just to tell you guys, um, Shorty and I were translating this. And this may absolutely be one of my favorite transfers because let me tell or stencils, because let me tell you what this translates into into English. So in English, these, this says love is like war, easy to start, hard to end and impossible to forget. How can you not love that? Hey, Dixie Bell and Anne's on from Indiana and Carrie. And Julie Coffee Covey's on. Deanne's all the way from Australia. Carrie says, oh, I love your hair. So thank you. I got my hairs. I got my hairs did today. So um, it's off the translation. Carrie, what does it say? If I'm wrong, because I put it into Google Translate, and that's what Google Translate said. Love is like war. Easy to start, hard to end, and impossible to forget. So how are they off? Let me know. Hey, Dana Perry Ridge. So, okay, first of all, I'm going to grab just an art craft brush. And we've got another Anna from Portugal. All right, let me get over here. Let me get to work. So um, there we go. So these are my three colors. You can see here that I'm using a glaze. Again, the glaze that I'm using is the copper bronze, pearlescent, and gold. So I want to do a little bit more of the copper bronze. And so that's what I'm going to start with.
first is the copper bronze. There we go. And I've got a straight bristle I can see right there. I'm just grabbing it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start working. And I am stippling on, yes, you can stipple glaze. Can stipple, stipple glaze. Come on. There we go. And by layering them, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. And you want to make sure that you're going straight at like a 90 degree angle to the wood to get a nice, crisp, clean little finish on your edges. You can always come back and add more, but you can't take it off. So even if I need to do another layer, I would rather, I would rather add another layer um, than to have to try to sand it off and repaint and go again. So I'm going to do the roses first. And then do this, and then we're going to layer some more in. And so also, uh, Shorty will be here in just a second. He's just finishing up with our last customers. Sorry about the extra noise, guys, really am. But small business, when they're ready to buy, we're, really, we're ready to sell. So he's going to be a little bit of noise. He's going to be rolling down our gate here in just a second and coming in to join us. So let us, yeah, definitely, definitely let us know where you're watching from. And ladies and gentlemen, I give you the creepy stalker guy from yesterday, from last week that kept asking me to go to dinner with him, AKA Shorty. How y'all doing everybody? All right, sorry, we had customers. All right, so where are you at? I am working on this. You are doing your stencils. Right. This is what you're doing. You're doing your transfers. What were you doing? It looks like more fun. But I, I am having more fun. But if you had gotten, you know, closed when you said you were, you could have done this and I could have done that. But no, you didn't. So I'm doing this and you're doing that. Uh, but you like transfers. Shorty does, believe it or not. He loves transfers. New Jersey's in the house. Tammy Martin's with us. Uh, can you zoom in? Zoom in on me, on Shorty. Tell me what you need me to zoom in on, and I'll see if I can. I cannot zoom in on Shorty's. I might be able to bring my tripod. I'm going to bite around once I get it going. Yeah. It's too tall. <laughs> Imagine stuff too tall for you. Hey, that's a good thing. Ah, so let's get this. Let's see if that helps. Is that better? I'm bringing my, my boom down a little bit. Right, I'm going to start working on mine real quick. No, that would be good. Is that better? So hey, Dana Perry Rich says, hey, the, Shorty. Hey, how's everybody doing? And, hey, huh? Did you show them the front of that? Not yet. I would have if I had help. I know. Hey, did we have any of the extra that we already used? Any of the extra that we already used? I'm going to need another noun. Like this right now. Ooh. Hey, don't you come over here and sniff me, Matt Sniffer. Well, I'm going to do like what you said. Now, my wife uh, showed me this little trick. I'll show you on one of these right here. Can they see here? Uh, let me see. Uh, let me get. Now they can. Okay. There. Now you can see so, Shorty. The way we had to cut this, some of these edges are really close. So, you know, I was telling my wife, well, I really don't want to scratch the paint. 
you know, with me doing this. So my wife said, take one of the ones that you've already used and I could put it over the top. That's bigger. That's bigger. Okay. And then I could hit the edges right here by where the paint is. And I don't have to worry about scratching the paint because I'm using another piece above it, which ain't really going to affect anything other than it gives me more room to work that I don't have to worry about scratching the paint on the piece. Because if I do, then my wife, not me, it would have to touch it up. So what? No, we agreed. You mess it up, you fix it. So I like that idea that, uh, you know, so right here uh, on the areas here, I could hit it big, but in the areas that I'm too close to my paint, I could use something like this over the top of it and I could still rub. It ain't going to affect my paint at all. And I could just go over it. So. Gary says, Shorty's in the house. We're good on Gary. Yes, Donna, this is a 1920s two-door, two-drawer dresser that we're working on. Um, everybody's saying hi to each other. Donna Trebeau says, hi, Shorty. Gary says, Gary's on. Um, Donna, Carrie, Tammy Martin, Carrie, Gary, shh, incognito. She can't see me, haha. -ha. Um Dana Pierre Ridge. Oh, great tip, Krista. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, you see, some of the areas are really close. So by doing that, I, I didn't scratch the paint at all. Which, you know, saved you. Yeah, this morning we were working on the other, we've already completed the other drawer. And so we were working on it. And he's like, baby, I'm having a problem. And I said, well, do this. He's like, why didn't I think of that? So, but now, you know, we've shared the tip with you guys. And so there you go. And like I said, this is only my first layer. So it's going to be a little thin because I am going to be using some other glazes. I'm using the copper bronze first. Shorty's just working away. If you see over Shorty's shoulder, you can see the piece that we worked on last week. It is completed. It has its hardware. I will be getting it staged, hopefully, uh, Monday or Thursday. I know I can't do it tomorrow. Shorty and Austin will be out of the shop, so I'm running the shop alone tomorrow. And I am very fortunate with my staging because we are in like a retail mall setting, not an antique mall setting, a retail mall setting. And so a lot of the other vendors here allow me to use their products in my staging. And we have a wonderful lady in here that sells plants. And so if you're ever wondering where all the beautiful yard art and stuff you see in my um, photographs, it's hers. She's right across the hall from us. Wonderful, wonderful lady. And she is just an absolute doll baby. Yeah, in order for my wife not to kill a plant, it has to be a plastic. plant. Yeah. yeah. And even then, um, it's questionable. Years and years ago, I had a green thumb um, when I was a st when I stayed home. But you poke, poke your nose, so it's green. Um, you never had a green thumb. I, where but, where did you? Oh, oh did man! You didn't kill anything? Give me a break. I, I I could put fake grass in the backyard. You're gonna kill it. Uh, uh, you're on that list now, Dave. <laughs> I can't. Uh, before I met you. And I was always stay at home. I had a green thumb. Now I work too much. And no, I do not have okay, a green okay. thumb. First, everybody knows you don't work. So <laughs> you better get down to that transfer, buddy. I swear to you. Why are you lying? Oh, man. Love the night sound. The background turned out amazing. Thank you. Where's the stencil from? This is the Dixie Bell. This is a Dixie Bell stencil. Here it is. And I didn't realize. So let me put you guys back straight with me. This is the Dixie Bell stencil. And if you're just hopping on, um, the translation, this is in French, but the translation is love is like war. 
easy to start, hard to end, and possible to forget. Yes, it is a newer stencil. Somebody said it must be new. Yes, it is. Donna, what are you sending pictures of, hon? So Donna says I'll send you pictures, and I'm not sure what she's sending pictures of. So if uh, you're a Dixie Bell retailer, put please put in your information so people can find you that are local to you. Um, your Facebook link. If you are do not have a local retailer, you're welcome to reach out to me or use our affiliate link up ahead, up top in the description because, you know, Shorty bought a new truck. Yes, well, Shorty bought me a new truck yesterday. Whatever. We mean whatever. It's my truck now. It's only yours when you need to push it when you run out of gas. What? See, you're just being ornery. And so, keep going. And we are, like I said, uh, you can. Reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer questions, talk you through projects. Love that. Definitely make sure you're checking out our Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast group. That is a great group for inspiration and for sharing thoughts and uh, ideas. And I have to tell you, I get quite inspired by some of the pieces I see there. Um Okay, Carrie says that the translation is correct on that. Um, love Tammy Martin says love it. That's a that's great. Another stencil I want. I know I love what it says. Um, Lisa says she's loving the split screen. This is how we work quite frequently. Is I'm on one side, Shorty is on the other. It's Friday date. Yeah, Friday this is night, date night. This is yeah. This is Friday Saturday date night for us. Um, this is date night. We're often working on projects together. We've even gone out and done the, where we pay to go do a date night. Oh, yeah. We uh, did uh, one of those um, paint uh, paint nights, date nights, where you, you, know, you go out to a bar or something. And we went to the House of Blues in Dallas and did a canvas paint night. That one was fun. Yeah. So we enjoy creating together. And so I am still using my copper bronze. Shorty is over there working on his vintage floral transfers on the front of the dresser, on that drawer. Just always remember when you're working on these smaller pieces, do not get in a hurry. Yeah, definitely. You don't want, that's a so good So what tip. I do is I try to pick up on the sides and then work my way in. If it's a bigger piece, Normally, I try to work from the middle out, but when it's a small piece like this, I try to get all my edges and then work it to the middle. It just are, that's my, the way I like to do it, because I know in my edges, because, you know, all these little points on the flower, I want to make sure that I don't lose any of it. So I'm always trying to make sure that I start kind of working around. I pick up one end, and then I kind of look, and then uh, kind of work my way. And then I work as I'm picking up, I'm knocking out the middle. And also on flowers that have stems and petals, it's very, very important to make sure that you get those tips of those flowers. You do not want to pull up and have it in the middle and not on the edges because you are going to just rip your transfer in half. Your edges are so very, very important on any transfer, but especially on flowers and stems because you just kind of have to work your way around the flower to make sure that you've got all of the petals down the stem. And so, see, let me get to comments. Um, Terry said she used to have a green thumb until I moved to Texas. Yes, ma'am. We've got April Rain Designs here in Westfield, Indiana. Amber Demakowitz says she loves the script stencil too. Uh, Deanne says good tip, Shorty. Uh, 
Renee says hello, Premier Retailer. She's in Greenville, Tennessee at Renee's Recreations. So go check them out. Oh, you're going to do the big bad boy. Uh-huh. So just a little something. If you know Dixie Bell, it will have a booth at the upcoming Indiana Penners Conference in Indianapolis. And I will be in attendance. I will... I am actually going to be paying to go just like everybody else. Um, I'm going to be taking some classes. If you're going to go to the Indiana conference, reach out to me, be happy and would love to meet up with you guys while I'm there and to meet everybody, hug some necks in person. Yeah. I'm not going to go to that one. Uh, my wife's going to run up and meet uh, Barry Cobb. Barry. So they're going to ride together. So I'm going to stay out of that one so uh, my wife can have some very well-needed girl time with, uh, with her. Yeah. So I do not love this. Uh, do not have it, love it, want it so badly. Well, you can always order through my affiliate link up top. You can contact me. I can direct ship. Um, give me just a second when I switch over between the different color glazes. Then I will grab the other French script stencil for you to see. Um, it is a little bit smaller than this one. It does not have the roses. And actually, let me take a little, let me go grab that because it's sitting right there. So... Hello from Quebec, Canada. So who's on from Canada? I do not know, but you said Canada in a Spanish accent. So this is the small script. As you see, it's a little bit smaller. It's more of in a block pattern instead of a long script on this one. And it does not have the roses. So if you're looking for more of a block script, that's what we are Ooh, on camera. There we go. More of a block script. They do have it in that one as well. So there we go. There's two options for you. But I do love the saying, love it, love it, love it. Um, any suggestions on stenciling to avoid lifting regardless of amount of tape you use to hold down stenciling? like a spray glue that doesn't leave residue after removing. Oh boy, yes, because I usually do use uh, spray glue um, and I get mine, um, baby, they asked, let me go see, talk to them. They want me to talk to you. <laughs> hey, how you doing guys? Uh, as you can see, I'm the one working on the drawers. Uh, I love these, you know, I kind of watch the, uh, I've never used these stencils before. I mean, these transfers before. And uh, I was kind of intimidated, you know, cause I watched someone else and I saw them kind of use like a heat gun and which I could see why it would probably help, you know, adhere it a little bit quicker. But I mean, working with them guys, I mean, to be honest with you, they're coming off super easy. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, like I said, as long as you work the outside and just kind of work it in. Uh, I first told my wife, I'm going to get our heat gun out. And I said, right, let me try one. And uh, I really love the way they're coming off. Uh, uh, you know, I understand it's got a little bit of glue. You got to just kind of, you know, uh, work it out with your finger a little bit. But actually, guys, these really come off very, very easy. Um, you know, like I said, if you just work, like I said, the technique on the outside and then work your way in. So you can kind of start lifting it, work, you know, I pick up one end, then another end, then another end, and just kind of, you know, don't try to pick it up all on one side. Just kind of pick up here and then here and then here and here and then just kind of work towards the middle. And it's actually, it's, you know, now that my wife gave me this great idea about, you know, uh, using this, so I don't, because I'm always worried about scratching the paint by using another piece of plastic that came off another one to get the edges that are close to where I cut with my scissors. Uh, other than that, guys, they really come off very easy. Uh, yeah, I did one more earlier before the video just so, you know, I can get an idea of how they come off and stuff. 
And to be honest with you, they're coming out off a lot better, a lot better than uh, kind of what I had seen. But you know, it's like everything. You just got to try it out yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like everything in life. You know, you take a little bit of what you see one person do, a little bit what you see someone else do, and then you just start, you know, finding out what works better for you by trying out a little bit of everybody else. Then you come up with your own little methods and what works is more comfortable for you to work with. Okay, so back to the question about stencil glue. Um, now, I'm going to show you two different kinds, and I'm going to tell you there's one you use and one do not use. So repositional tacky spray is, and go ahead and take a screenshot of that. I'll hold it up for another five, four, three, two, one. This is repositional tacky spray. I get this at Michael's um, and this is called Aline's Original. Now that's what you want to get. This is what you do not want to get spray adhesive because it says high tack you do not want no 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 bad high tack so you want to make sure on the bottle this is the yes 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 see right there it says repositional make sure you get that i'm not going to tell you how i know and why i have the one that's high tack so bugs on hey bug Bug says, hey, shorty. Hey, Bug. Um, Olga says, hola. So let's see your bug, bug, bug. Um, Carrie says, I have saved a large piece of the transfer top from the large transfer people to use. Yes, yes ma'am. Tammy Martin says, she glared me. Thank you so much. Um. Wow. Oh, I saw this piece of paper sitting over here and I'm thinking, why do I have this up here? He already put the transfer down and left that up on my workbench. And so I was thinking like I lost a transfer. No, that was shorty. Oh man. I did it right in front of you. I was working. Like I pay attention to you. Oh my God, we're married. You think you, I'm like, I don't pay attention to you. I know. How can I not pay attention to you? No, how do you say you work? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, brother, fight you. Oh, you wait. All right, so I am done with the copper bronze. I'm going to set this off to the side. I am going to grab another stencil brush that is a little bit smaller. And then I am going to add in just some gold in different areas. And I'm not going all over. I'm just giving it little touches here and there. Not every letter is going to get gold. Not every letter is going to get white. I'm just touch, just giving it. And I definitely, the one thing I want to do is add definitely add it into the rose petals copper and gold are you like that one and it does kind of sound like a woodpecker when you are stenciling so you might be able to hear it i don't know if my microphone is picking it up Usually I have a lapel mic on, but since I'm split screening it in one area, we are using one microphone. See, because I'm picking it up slowly and I'm working around, I can see every little spot where I still have some on my paper and I can go back and rework it. That's the object of not picking it all up in one single swoop. See right there, I can see a little bit left right there. I don't want to lose any of this one because this is really good. Put that down. Put that down. So we've got um, a 
trying to look at comments real quick. Oh, everybody just talking amongst yourselves. Absolutely. Please talk amongst yourselves. What do y'all think? I'm going to ask you guys opinion. Do you think that I should do more of the gold in this infinity style right here? Do you think that I should gold that up or do you think I should pearlize glaze it more? So tell me what you think. Gold or pearl in that? Hey, Betty. Hey, where's my Betty? Yep, you're be I was just getting ready to say, sure, what are your girls on? Guys, I got a lot of love for Betty. She's been with us for a long time. Uh, when my, I don't know if y'all remember, it's been a while back, my wife got really sick. Uh, Betty stuck through this when uh, I was doing videos by myself because my wife couldn't even come to the camera. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of love for Betty. Betty's been uh, uh, someone that I, I care a lot about. She, she's a sweetheart. So somebody asked me uh, what stencil, I'm just using a craft store stencil brush. I'm hoping that Dixie Bell will come out with a line of stencil brushes soon. Um, but I'm just using a craft store and inexpensive st stencil brush. Anna says gold because of the message of the stencil. We've got a pearl and a pearl. So we got two pearl, one gold. But I'm going to work on this flower over here and then I'll move to this. So you still got time. Type in gold or pearl. And we will see where we go from there. What? That, uh, Betty's been, oh, Betty has yeah. been amazing. If anything you got to know about that woman is, like I said, when my guy, wife got really sick, she stood by my family, and uh, I got a lot of respect and a lot of love for her. She, uh, probably nothing she couldn't ask me for, I wouldn't try to give her. Carrie says, oh, Betty, thank you for looking out for Kristen Shorty. Betty, I think, has been very good to us all. Yes, she has. Um, Bugs says, I also love using my Dixie Bell Premium Chip Brush when I stencil. They're great, too. Um, I usually do, but when it's a small lettering like this, I don't like to use bigger brushes. That's why I use the teeny tiny little brushes. And so that's why I'm using a crafting brush instead of one of my, um, my uh, what, chip brush. That's the word I'm looking for. Honey, why didn't you tell me I was looking for the word stencil brush? I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up my flowers. Oh. Oh, you're working on you? Yeah, you're, you're so good to me. And I got a little crack brush going right through, just kind of. All right, I'm going to do one more and then I'll kind of tilt it so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, Kristen Rosenbeck's on. She came on and said that, hi to us as Dixie Bell. She goes, oops, that's me, Kristen. Hey, uh, Kristen. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Love you, girl. What's your hubby doing? Denny. Okay, so did we ever decide on in this script pattern here if we should do more of the gold or the pearlescent? Because I'm getting ready to move over to the pearlescent. And so I want to make sure that either I put it in there, the gold and nail, before I put my brush and stuff away, or I start when I use my next color. So, cause I got two white, one gold, or I can do both. Actually, 
So give it a, a whirl. Let me know what you think. All right. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of gold. Actually, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, one line in the gold and the other in the pearl. So which is gold and pearl. Are you messing with me? Are you fun in me? Oh my God. Ha ha. Oh my God. I knew that would get him. Yeah, Betty. Betty said both. Hey, Kristen. Kristen got back on her account. She's back with us. Hey, Kristen. So. You know, I'm from Brownsville, Texas. Okay. So we speak a whole different language down there. And when I first moved up here to Dallas, uh, I was a delivery manager for a company and I was down there in the country delivering some furniture, you know, some appliances and stuff. And uh, this old man in the pickup truck stopped by and says, son, it looks like you're lost. Uh, do, you, do you need some help? And I said, yeah, I'm looking for whatever, let's say the Smiths. And he goes, oh, around here, we, uh, uh, I gave him the address and he goes, no, 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 no. Around here, tell me the person's name. So I told him the person's name and he goes, oh, you passed this house. You got to go back yonder. And when I looked back, there was three streets. So I'm from the valley. We don't use the word yonder. So I'm like, is that the first street or second street? And he goes, are you funding me? I go, am I what? He goes, are you funding me? And I said, he was all mad. I, I thought this old man was ready to kill me. And uh, I said, no, sir. I said, I'm from Brownsville, Texas. I've never heard the word yonder. I don't know what that means. I see three streets. Is that the first one? He goes, just go to the first street and make a left. I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> You're about ready to kill me. So every time Shorty uh, does something a little, you know, Shorty-like, sometimes I'll just look at him and go, are you funning me? Yeah, he goes, are you funning me? I'm like, oh, hell, what does that mean? <laughs> no, I'm not funning you. <laughs> And I'm not going to use a lot of this pearlized glaze. I'm just going to tap it in. I'm not going to use as much as the gold. I'm just using the pearlized as an accent. There we go. All right. Gotta get my tips out there. And then once I am done, there you go, guys. That is the a glazing effect of the French transfer. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's fabu, fabu, fabu. And I am going to now start on the rest of the flowers on the top. And then once these are positioned, I know I'm going to be adding some more in here and in here. So I just wanted to get that laid out first. And then I will do the rest of the transfers around the top. So like I said, what you guys are witnesses witnessing is mine and Shorty's very often our Friday and Saturday night. Um, later I am on every Saturday night this month. Um, I don't know about next week because Shorty and Austin have a show next week. Um, but hopefully one or two more weeks this month, Shorty and possibly Austin and maybe even my long legged whiskey girl, my little dog, my little chihuahua might be joining us as well. Um, Betty can attest because she's been watching us for a while. When we first started doing videos about three and a half, four years ago um, for Dixie Bell, Shorty Austin, our son, would hold the camera and Shorty often helped me and would come on and play on camera. And so we're getting back to some, it's all in my roots. I showed up in boots. Sorry. 
And um, we're getting back to our roots and getting back to have some fun. Yeah, you did that, making all that ruckus. What is wrong with you? What's ruckus? Ruckus. All right. So what colors did you use on the stencil? I joined late. I was using um, glaze. So this is actually a glaze on the top. Um, I started off with the copper bronze and then I layered on top of that with uh, the gold shimmer in certain areas. And then I went back with the pearlescent glaze. Can you eat that glaze? No, it, no, it's not donut glaze. Oh. I mean, it's water-based, but no, you don't eat it. You said glaze. Oh, man. I'm a fat boy. I hear glaze. I'm thinking don't. You are a fat boy. Hey, I admit it. So get you guys. You <laughs> don't have razors, right, Gary? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, Carrie, Shorty, and Austin coming to Austin. No, my son, Austin, might be appearing on some of the lives because I'm on every Saturday night this month. Shorty wanted to jump on because, you know, he was creepy stalking last week, asked me if I wanted to go to dinner. And somebody says, is that your husband? And I'm like, well, he's still a creepy stalker guy, but he's my husband, too. And so... Like I said, we wanted to get back to our roots, have Shorty come on with us, have some fun. And Austin might be joining us, my, our son Austin. He's he been here today, but we have to be Yeah, we took him home to take care of the babies, the fur babies. See, before we used to do all this in our, in our house. So oh, we started all, off doing this in our spare bedroom. That's what I'm saying, we did that, which is our house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Boy. So, yeah, so before it was easy because, you know, even though we had the dogs and stuff, you can do it at home, but now we're going to hell. So Sue says she's late as normal, but she's here. Thank you for joining, Sue. So let me just recap since I've seen a couple of people have jumped on. Uh, we are, I used the... Uh, French stencil, the script stencil, the large one. Um, if you're just popping on in English, this translates to love is like war, easy to start, hard to end, and impossible to fight. That's what this says in French. And it really says Shorty's always right. And boy. So guys, I, for some reason, have lost my video feed. I am working on bringing it back. Give me just a second. Something went wrong. But that's the great thing about StreamYard is that when it does go wrong and you're using a split screen, you can always get it back. 
Hopefully. What's going on? Hello. Are you back, baby? No, I'm not. Not yet. Uh, she's trying to work that out. It's so funny. I just did one. Looks like I don't know. Looks like he's got a face. Oh man. What happened, babe? I don't know. My. Okay, it says I'm on Wi-Fi, but for some reason. See, I paid my bill. Did you pay yours? I paid the bill. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ooh, that's funny. Are you really going to go there with me? Well, I'm on. I can see me. Oh, boy. So I have to go through the whole stream yard process. Give me just a second. You got fired. Boy. You got kicked off screen, huh? Hey guys, back. Okay, so let me get you in the tripod. <sighs> Modern technology, isn't it wonderful? And so we've got, flip it back down. There we go. Man, gotta love that. Gotta love that. So I'm back, audio's back. Maybe go out and come back in. Yay, yay, told you. Yes, it's not just you, Bug, that loses feeds. It's us, too. It's the great thing about using StreamYard, though, is that the feed will stay up. You just have to go back in. And when I'm using a split screen, I can always click the mic on the other one and talk so you guys know what's going on. Yay, you're back. Dixie Bell says, yay, you're back. Told you I'd be back. Hey. Telling, oh, I love you, honey. Yeah, I wonder. All right, give me one of your scrap top pieces, a big one. Give me one. I got so excited to show you the face. Does that work? That'll work. Thank you. If you're just coming on, what we do is that sometimes when you're working with smaller pieces, like this piece over here, and I'm right at the edge because where you cut them out individually, take another piece that you've used off of another one, especially a larger piece, put it over the edge and then use that piece. So you're not scraping off your transfer or your paint underneath your transfer. I know some people joined late, so we want to make sure that we get that tip in a couple of times. It'll save you on touch-ups of your paint. Yeah, Bug. Bug says she's going to need some stream yard set up. Girl, I told you how to do that when I was there. So, there we go. That's a great way to do those little pieces right there. Awesome. And that boo. And so I'm going to move around a little bit. Going to get these down. And what I wanted to accomplish on this top is to just kind of make it look like that, like a garden that flowers are just falling. It's no, like a bouquet, which I looked at these transfers and they are thin enough that you can layer them, which is a great technique. Um, I did not want to layer them to make them look like into a bouquet. I wanted them more of a natural, just floaty type. And so that's the look we're going for. I think I lost one of my flowers. Did you lose one of your flowers? I don't know. Just, no, no, my Right here. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay. And moved. Did it? That darn flower. Oh, Bug. She said she's got very short-term memory. She didn't remember how to set it up. It's very easy, Bug. I'll help you. Leave her alone. I, well, Bug knows where to find me if she needs help. 
What you telling me? If it wasn't for her hubby, you would all be messed up with Jill still. I know, but Bub knows where to find me. She knows I'm always here to help her. And so, right? Oh man, this is a natural. Like this piece was handmade. This is not a piece that was made of, you know, as a commercial piece. And this is a solid top and it's got a lot of knots in it. And what I did was I just put this transfer over a knot, which is fine. Not a problem. You can do that because I just did it. It's just going to take a little bit where those bumps, where the knot is, you're going to have to take a little bit extra time to make sure that it gets down into the knot and that you do what, what are you, what are you, oh, I'm fighting with my piece. Ah, oh, you fight with everybody. And so it's not a big deal that you're doing that. Um, on top of a knot, I just, uh, if you can avoid it, it is easier not to go over a knot. It's a knot knot. But if you do, not a problem. Just like she said earlier, take your time. Work from one end to the other. And then I'm going to move you guys over to this side. And like I said, watch this, guys. That's how close Shorty and I are working together. There he is. Well, pretty much like a living room. Right? Yeah, it's pretty much like working in the living room. So I'm getting on my... Hey, but we don't have the dogs trying to jump on. Yeah. We don't have whiskey going. You got a cookie? So, so Sh Sue, Shorty is working on... Sue Owens asks what you're what you're working on. So why don't you tell Sue what's up? I am trying to work on the drawers. I'm working on drawers. I'm doing the flowers on the drawers to match up with my wife, what she's doing to the top of it. But she laid her flowers and I'm laying mine the way I want. I'll show you all, man. I'm almost done. I was going to show you a little while ago, but I'm almost done. Let yeah, we put out. that drawer in and then show them the whole, because I've only got really one more. Like I said, you know, I watched several videos uh, and, you know, uh, I thought these were going to be a little harder to put on. I'm going to tell you guys, these guys are going on quick. Um, you just have to run it a little bit, run your finger. Uh, it, it leaves a little bit of glue. So you just kind of run your finger, you know, not heavy, and always work it out. And you'll feel a little bit of glue come off and just kind of work it down. And I'm knocking them out. I mean, um, I started the drawer, the other drawer before this one. And I said, I better stop because I would have finished everything. No, I told you to leave something for the video if you're going to come hang out with me. I know, but I get started and I just keep going. Yeah. yeah. So Shorty sounded like a rabid animal on my end. Oh, you got to speak up, baby. Oh, sorry. Well, she's all comfortable up here. She's got me on the floor. So she treats her husband down here on the floor. Hey, you're where you belong. <laughs> yeah, you keep picking on me. So it's supposed to kind of look like just flowers scattered. We didn't want to turn it into a bouquet. With this one, I saw that it is layerable, cuttable, layerable. And you could layer them if you wanted to with the stems and the greenery to make like a bouquet if you wanted to or scatter them like this and i we i i will say we because we did talk about this and um we decided to do more of a scattered look than the bouquet look see i grabbed another piece to go over where i cut and these are good too to help pick up the edges Oh, yeah. Um, Shorty actually showed me this one. I showed him some stuff and I didn't think about this either. If you're having problems sometimes on your edges of your stencils when you do them smaller and you're trying to get underneath of them and they're just being ornery, 
what you can do is take one of these and put that underneath and then lift to pull. So Shorty actually showed me that trick. So yeah, even in our own house, we learn from each other. How cool is that? Well, it's like everything, trial and error. You know, you try something, it don't work, you try something else. And it's like everything, you watch other people. That's a lot of it I learned by watching other people. You know, uh, like Kristen, she's really good at when she's doing something. She gives you step by step. When you do stuff, you tell me step by step. So if you just listen to everybody and the steps that they're taking, and just kind of follow it. And and the cool thing, it's all on Facebook, so you could always rewind a little bit and then go back to it. It's awesome. When you got the, uh, there's a lot of women out there that uh, really do good at uh, doing demonstrations and and uh, if you just go back and watch some of their videos, and you can learn a lot just by watching their videos. And also, too, there's a teacher for everybody. Just because somebody is not for you doesn't mean that, you know, uh, everybody learns different. And you can see 15 people or 100 people do a certain method, and then one person does it, and it speaks to you. It just clicked. And that's the person who teaches you and talks to you the way works for you. So there's a million different ways to do certain things. Um and you'll find the people that speak to you. Some people like funny. Some people like, you know, don't talk at all. Some people like, uh, you know, dry humor. Some people like no humor. Some people don't even want to hear us talk. They just want a list of products and, you know. Um, so are you done yet? Because I'm done. I'm almost done. Wait, why? I did part of your talk. You did one teeny tiny Itty bitty. I did that whole top before you started. What? I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, because I did that one. Okay, on, no, oh. okay take that one away. Boy? That's when you when you left to go to Boston, I started getting carried away. Because I know you All right, well, we're almost at time, so you need to hurry up. I'm almost done. I got one more. If you quit picking at me, I'd be good. Smart cookie, that guy, Sue says. Ne Betty says, never too old to learn. S oh, Bug says that we have been scattered, smothered, and covered. Dixie Bell says that they're loving this. Thank you, Dixie Bell. I think it's going to look awesome. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put this off to the side. I need to move my camera back and get ready for Shorty's big reveal. Look, my floor. Ta-da. So I'm actually going to put my tripod up to give you guys a better angle of what we've been working on. Hey, are you going to add any of the green leaves like you talk? So, well, um, we are at time, honey. You're not going to add any? Not, I might add one or two, uh, but we are at time. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second, por favor. Un momento, por favor. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him off screen. So you just get this big screen. You'll get to see what the piece looks like. I'll give you a close up and then we're going to say good evening for tonight. But make sure that you join us next week. I will be back on at, at 8 Eastern on the Dixie Bell main page. Shorty may or may not. Austin may or may not. Whiskey may or may not. Um, we're not sure. But let me switch over and you'll get the big picture of the mess that's scattered around us in the shop. But this is what we do on Friday and Saturday nights. I know, baby. So let me get you off the screen. There we go. You can see it looks so nice on camera, but over here, you can see I've got my stencil spray. I went to get all of my glazes. Um, even got my Dr. Pepper, uh -huh. everything that you need. Honey, yes. This is what happened. I'm thinking that it's on here, but it took my paint. Oh, okay. No problem. I can check that up. That's where I keep trying to get that down, but it's not that. It's the seat right there. Was that still wet or something? Uh, it might be because I hit it this morning. Yeah, that's a problem. See, I'm thinking that it's me, but it's not. It's taking up your paint. Okay, no problem. So how do we do that? Uh, I'm going to let it sit tonight. Because that's the edge you hit this morning, right? Yeah, that's the edge I hit this morning. You do want to make sure that your paint is super dry. I had to touch up the top this morning or this this drawer this morning 
and that obviously is not dry, so we are just going to let it sit. So right now, let me get you guys. I'm going to take you off the tripod. Oh, eek, come on. There we go. And of course, it's the last transfer that you did. There is the front of the piece. We're going to go up. And there is, and I am in the way with a shadow. There right. is the top of the piece. I'm going to have to do something anyway. Yeah. So go ahead. Let's hear. Talk to them and well, get the comments. Look, I'm going to show. Can I show them? Yeah. Okay. Because I turned the drawers upside down. Can I show them like this? Mm -hmm. See how I did that? I can't hear you do it. I, I, you see how I did my things here? That's what I wanted. And then when I got over here, I wanted them on the top. But I turned my drawers around, so I put them right here. But that's okay. Once I take this off and get the paint to stick, I'll put something, another one here and here to kind of match it. All right, guys. So let me flip you guys around. Come here, baby. You did good. I'm proud of you. So, guys, thank you for hanging out with me and Shorty tonight. As you can see, we've got the ooey gooey goodness behind us of Dixie Bell. We will be back next Saturday night. Always check us out on Litter to Glitter. Because you never know when we're going to pop one and do something crazy, right? Yeah, or a giveaway. Or a giveaway. Or a giveaway. Yeah. yeah, you're good at that. So, much love. Hey, love you guys. So, I didn't like that. I know, baby. 